Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I have a lot of creative projects I want to accomplish this year, and I'm sure you guys do too. So in this video, I want to show you how I organize all of my creative projects in my DIY disc bound notebook system. Ever since I've created this system for myself, I feel like adding structure to my sketches, my notes, my ideas, my thoughts has made me more productive and more likely to accomplish my creative goals rather than having all my project ideas scattered throughout loose papers or different multiple sketchbooks. Maybe this video will give you some inspiration on how to organize your projects in case you are a creative scatterbrain like I am. I'll put links to all of the stuff that I use in my notebooks including the DIY tutorials I've made for them, all in the description below. And I do want to say that this video is sponsored by Squarespace and I will get into that later. But for now, let's jump into these DIY notebooks. Currently, I am using this top bound notebook that I made for myself. And this is actually an updated version of what I talked about in a previous video when I was first exploring the disbound system. And you can go check that out if you want to. It's sort of an introduction to this whole way of binding. It's been a couple of years since I first made that video and I've since kind of customized this whole notebook to suit my needs and to suit the way my brain works. I punch everything with the Levenger Leverage Punch. This notebook fits eight and a half by 11 inch paper and I actually prefer a top bound notebook. It makes me feel like I have more space to draw on and I don't feel like the the binding gets in the way of my right hand. However, it's kind of hard to find top bound products, especially when you're looking for something that has a certain color or maybe a fun pattern on it. There really isn't a lot of stuff available for top bound, disc bound stuff. I decided to experiment with my own cover from making it out of a placemat. And I do have a tutorial for how to make your own covers and dividers if you're interested in disc binding. On the inside, I keep some tab dividers, which are just like sticky adhesive tabs that I can stick on a piece of paper if I wanna bookmark a page. On the top portion of this notebook, I keep white paper and I like to use thick kind of cardstock thickness paper. That's just what I feel more creative on. I will devote a page or two to one creative project and just keep all of my sketches and ideas on those pages. Also, if a project becomes more of a priority and it's in the middle of the notebook or the back, I could just move it up to the top of my notebook so it's in the first pages. And I keep a divider underneath the projects that I'm working on. This is also a DIY divider. Underneath that divider, I keep all my blank pages so that when I just need an extra sheet, I can go back there. Because most of my creative projects are YouTube videos, I make myself a separate kind of script sheet. It's not for full out scripts because most of the time when I'm making these videos, I improvise. So I just put more bullet points on these sheets and I made the paper lined because it's just easier for my brain to write out what I'm going to say on lined paper. So I made myself a custom template, which I print out on these pieces of paper. And I like to keep them a different color just so I can easily see that these are for writing the notes, the bullet points, and the blank pages are for sketching out the projects. If you have projects and maybe you aren't making YouTube videos, you could totally do something similar to this. You could just make your own lined paper, which I also have a tutorial for. I like to just keep like the episode, the title of the video and the date on the top, just like a templated, so I don't have to think about it and it's just really easy to fill in. I'll write the stuff about the project on the lined piece of paper and then keep it around next to the page that has all of the project sketches. And then behind the divider and behind all of the extra paper, I keep ongoing ideas. Like this year, I want to try some merch and I just put all of my merch kind of ideas in this section, in this tab. And then behind that, I have another ongoing project, which is a doodle book that I wanna try this year. I mentioned that in a previous video. And when my brain is ready to work on that, I'll just go to that tab and I can easily just pick up where I left off last time and sketch some ideas on what I'm thinking. And being able to go back to that just makes me more productive and more likely to finish this project. Also, when the tabs are sticking out like that, it's kind of a constant reminder that, oh yeah, that's the ongoing project that I need to go back to and finish. 
Also, a lot of you may know I use disc binding for my bullet journal, so those two notebooks are interchangeable. I can easily take a page out of my bullet journal and put it in my notebook in case I want to take my notebook to maybe somewhere else to sketch. Maybe I wanna go sketch in a coffee shop or some other location. And then when I get back to my office, I can take it out and put it back with all the other bullet journal pages. So this is considered my main notebook, my ongoing projects. But when it starts to get full, I will take the projects that I've already done that are already completed and archive them in a different notebook that is only for that year of archived projects. So for example, I have this one from last year and I will do the same for this year, 2018. When the projects are done, I will take those pages out of my main notebook and pop them into the archived notebook. The larger discs of this are made from Happy Planner, I believe they're called. This is also a DIY cover, which I showed you how to make in that tutorial. I put a quick label on top and just labeled it as Sea Lemon 2017 and all of the YouTube episode numbers that are archived in this book. So if I'm going back and looking for a specific video or sketches on that, for example, here's the project that I did for the holiday pattern video and these are all the sketches that I did for it and the page that has the bullet points. I can see the episode number and I can also look that up on my archive on my computer. So it's just an easy archiving system. Again, if you're not making YouTube videos, you don't have to do that. You could do something similar if you have different types of projects. So similar to my main workbook, I'll keep the tabs on the bottom. So for last year, I did a rebrand of Sea Lemon and I made a new logo. So these are all the sketches, the logo sketches. It's to document any experiments or side projects that I did this year that are no longer ongoing. That way they're not really causing more noise in my current notebook and my brain can just focus on what I'm currently doing and what I need to get done, rather than having a bunch of pages of projects that are complete, then they're not in the way. And here's my archive notebook, which I made in 2016. And that's when I started doing this whole system. I was still working it out, still kind of experimenting with this idea. I made the label from duct tape. I'm still working on how to make this a little bit more visually appealing, but I don't really mind that right now. It's just the fact that these things, all of these projects are organized in some way. Another cool thing about the disc bound system is if there's a different size paper or something that's loose from the notebook, I can just punch holes into that piece of paper or whatever it is and put it into that notebook so it's along with the rest of the sketches that deal with that specific project. Now I want to talk about this video sponsor, Squarespace. If you're looking for a way to organize and display your creative projects online, Squarespace is a really easy way to make a website, especially for creative projects. If you have like an online shop or a portfolio or a blog, or maybe you want to make a blog that's in addition to your YouTube channel, they have really beautiful modern templates to choose from. And you don't have to know anything about coding. They take all of that hard work out for you so you can easily put all of your stuff on your website. You can go check out squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, you can go to squarespace.com slash lemon for 10% off your first purchase of your website or domain name. I'll put that link in the description below along with the details of the notebooks I showed you in this video. And I want to encourage you to find what works best for you. This is just one way, the disc bound system, you don't have to follow that exactly. I encourage you to find what works best for you and makes you most creative to work on your projects. I would love to know how you stay on track with your projects and what makes you feel more productive. So leave a comment below, hit that like if you like this video and I'll put some related videos around here. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my videos. All of those links again will be down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.